Hello everyone. So first of all, thank you so much for purchasing their multi-purpose IoT Tracker Kit and making it the best selling product on our website. And well, by purchasing the components and projects from our website, you are indirectly supporting us for making such educational content for the community for completely free of cost. And now in this video, I'll let you know how to do the assembly of the IoT Tracker Kit and how to test it out. So first of all, make sure that you receive all the components for this kit, which includes the A9G board with antennas, a pouch that contains the PCB, Shao C3 and other components, a female buck strip and a battery. After that, let's open the pouch. So inside this, we get two JST connector with wires, two push buttons and one on off switch. Now, first let's start cutting the buck strip as per the size of our A9G board. Now here, I'm taking the PCB as the reference to cut them off. After cutting the three pieces properly, I will open up the A9G board and connect those pieces with it. Now I'll insert the A9G connected with the buck strip inside the PCB and start shouldering the buck strip from the back. After shouldering all the legs, we started shouldering the push buttons, the on off switch and the JST connector for speaker one by one. After that, we will remove the A9G board and shoulder one more JST connector for battery. With this, we are done with shouldering all the components on the PCB. Now, we will take this 2 pin JST connector, cut the extra piece of wire and then we will open up the battery. After that, we will strip the wires of both battery and the connector and we will add some shoulder on the wires for better connectivity. After that, we took two pieces of heat shrink tubes and inserted them in the wires. You can also use an insulation tape. Then we started shouldering the wires and now here make sure that the red wire of the battery connects with the brown wire of GST connector and the black wire of the battery is connected to the black one. After doing this, we inserted the battery in this slot, inserted the A9G board on the top and now it's time to connect the GSM and GPS antenna on the proper place. Now let's move ahead with the SIM card. So here I'm using my VI SIM card, but you can use the SIM of any company that provides 2G connectivity. Once again, Geo will not work here. So here one more time, we removed the A9G board, inserted the SIM card properly, closed the lid and inserted the A9G board back in the PCB. And finally, we are done with the complete assembly. Now it's time to program it up. So for programming, we need to connect the type C cable with the Shao ESP32 C3 board and connect it with our computer. For the code, you need to open up our GitHub repository for multipurpose IoT tracker code, whose link I will provide in the description of this video. Now copy that code, paste it inside Arduino IDE. And now here we need to select the right board and COM port. For that, here I'll select the Shao ESP32 C3 board and the right COM port. Then here in the code, you need to provide the mobile number on which you want to receive the SMS and the phone call. And that's it. You just need to hit the upload button and we are done with all the process. Now let's test it out. So after uploading the code, you need to power on the project and press and hold the power button on the A9G board to power it up. Once the A9G board gets powered up, the blue LED will turn on and start blinking. And on the serial monitor, after 20 seconds, you will be able to see all the AT commands and their responses, which means everything is working fine. Now let's test the auto call receive feature. So I'll make a call on the SIM card inserted in the A9G board. And as you can see, the call got automatically received. And on the serial monitor as well, we can see the ringing and the AT command responses. Now let's test the location feature. For that, make sure the A9G board is near to the window or at balcony where it is getting the direct exposure to the sky to get the GPS connectivity. After that, I will send the SMS send location and after some time, we got the SMS with the current location in it and we can click on that link to open up in Google Maps. So that's how you can get the current location. Now let's test the SOS feature. For that, I'll press and hold this button for more than 5 seconds to trigger the SOS feature. And within few seconds, I received one SMS with the current location on it and also got a call on it. And those were the steps to test the IoT tracker kit. Happy making!